Hi everybody, it's me, Mrs. Salazar, and I want to talk to you about this problem here, 1023 Part C. But I also want to talk to you not only here in section 1021, but 1022, because we have fractions here as well. How do you solve a problem with fractions? We're going to talk about rewriting fractions, and I'm going to show you how I do it. I get rid of the fractions. This problem has three in the bottom or in the denominator for all three terms. So that's really nice. We want to get rid of it by doing the opposite of a fraction. The opposite of a fraction is multiplication. Let's multiply by three over one. So three over one multiplies here, here, and there. I will rewrite this. It's three uh, times one over one times three plus three times x over one times three equals three times 10 over one times three. The threes can cancel right out and we get left with one plus x equals 10. Subtract one or do the opposite of one on both sides. We have x equals nine. That's perfect, that's the answer. Now on this one, we do not have the same denominator. I have x over eight plus three over four equals two. First step, put a one under the two. Now, find the number you can multiply everything by and get rid of those fractions. That number is eight. So I'll multiply by eight over one. So we have eight times x over one times eight equals I mean, plus 8 times 3 over 1 times 4 equals 8 times 2 over 1 times 2. And just like before, we multiply everything by that number. I hope you like Baby Shark. My kids love it. The 8s cancel out. We have x plus, oh, you don't see an 8 down here, do you? But, oh, 8 can divide by 4, so that becomes a 1 and that becomes a 2. What's 2 times 3? 6 equals, ah, uh, you don't see an eight crossing out, but we do have, how do we have a two down there? That should be a one. Miss Salazar is making a mistake. I'm so sorry, I don't know where that one came from. I mean, I don't know where that number came from. So now we have eight times two, which is 16. Take away six, we have x equals 10. Sorry about that mistake. Let's do another example. So I made this one up, 2 fifths plus 1 tenth equals x over 2. Multiply everything by 10 over 1. And we get 10 times 2 over 1 times 5. Plus 10 times 1 over 1 times 10. Equals 10 times x over 1 times 2. All right, uh, 10 divided by 5. I'm going to do that first. That becomes a 1, and that becomes a 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. The 10s cancel out here, and we're left with just 1, never 0. Over here, 10 can divide by 2. That becomes a 1, and this becomes a 5. So we have 5x there. And we have 5 equals 5x. Divide by 5. Divide by 5. 1 equals x. Perfect. That's your answer. Next example, which is from your book, 1035. We have 5x over 3 plus 15 over 2 equals 5 over 2. I'm not multiplying by 3 or 2. I'm going to multiply by 6. 6 over 1. All right, and the reason why is 3 can divide into 6 and 2 can divide into 6. So we have 6 times 5x over 1 times 3 plus 6 times 15 over 1 times 2 equals 6 times 5 over 1 times 2. That is 30x over 3. I don't know why I did that to myself. 10x. Um, did I really want to do that that way? 6 times 15 is 90. Or you could just do it this way. What's uh, 6 divided by 2? 3. 3 times 15 is 45. Alright, plus 45. I don't know why I did it that way. And the 2 and the 6, um, they reduce. That becomes a 3. 3 times 5 is 15, so it's 15. Take the opposite, negative 45. 
negative 45. And we have 10x equals negative 30. Divide by 10. I'm going to run out of room in a minute. X equals negative 3. All right, thank you.